We are going live. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody listening at home, moving forward, this is an explicit only podcast. Am I right, Alondra? We are right. Alrighty, so this is explicit. So if you're listening to this, we hope that you're over the age of mental capacity where you can understand curse words and not be offended. If you feel offended by any sort of curse word, please stop listening to this now. Uh, As a heads up, we are giving you, with all due respect, a warning right now, a sense of professionalism. This is explicit. Now we've given you 30 seconds to stop. Now moving forward, we're going to get the worst out of the way. We're going to say the word that everybody's scared of and that everyone is probably going to be offended by on a count of three. Three, two, one. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, we are done. Alrighty, so moving on. This is the E3 special episode of StatX Radio. Uh, For everybody who follows our social media, we actually have somebody here live in person, as you heard a second ago. Say hi. Hello, hello. This is Alejandro, finally live here in Tulsa. He is all the way from his homeland in uh, at Atlanta, Georgia. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so uh, he he flew here. He's been sleeping on my couch, which has been a very nice change to my lifestyle. And it's been really cool to have him here in person for this uh, E3 that we have going on right now, uh, or just got done with. That's what we're doing. We're doing our reactions to this and kind of updating everybody what we thought about this E3. Uh, moving forward, we said this is explicit, so I'm going to use that word that we said. This was a super shitty E3. What a fucking mess. This E3 right. was a fucking nightmare. <laughs> it was so bad. Yeah. I'm like, honestly, just I'm kind of glad that not a whole lot of big things happened just because like this wasn't a lot for us to tackle. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's also really like disappointing. It's such a bummer, especially for our birth- first big thing. Like, they showed nothing. Yeah, it's like, pretty bad. They're pretty much just like, hey, here's a trailer for next year's E3. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Yeah. I- <laughs> like uh, back in November when Sony was like, you know what? We're not going on E3 2019. And everyone was, was like, oh, yeah, they're uh, very being arrogant. They're uh, they're going to suck. Like, why are they not showing up? Now that I'm looking back, I was like, they were intelligent. Yeah. They were shrewd. Yeah. They were like, they saved themselves the embarrassment. Yeah, Sony won E3. Yeah, literally. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't literally. show up. Um, they just dropped Death Stranding trailer. Two I saw weeks that. Before. <laughs> I saw, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's gonna be a great game. What what is a little concerning? I do want to mention that moving uh-huh. on, because um, technically that is like E3 related mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. E3. Right in the coattails. Yeah, it's right in the coattails of E3. I may as well mention this. It is a little weird how we know nothing about that game right before it's releasing, mm-hmm. All, and like we know a little bit about the story. It's like uh-huh. you know we have uh, is it Norman Reedus? Yeah. Yeah. So Norman Reedus is like traveling around the world trying to bring together these different villages and. Uh, peoples or whatever strands. all around the uh, yeah, strands or whatever mm-hmm. around the around the US are trying to bring the US back and then the president is like on his deathbed for some reason they have him on life support why is he still the at the president? White House on top at the of White, in the Oval Office, <laughs> Oval Office why is he the president all I know is that this dude has a baby on his chest and he has a like ladder in his great bag of holding which is uh, for Alejandro, that is a D&D reference, which is a bag that can carry anything. It has no oh. actual size inside. <laughs> kind of like the TARDIS in Doctor Who. Oh, okay. That's what I imagine his bag yeah. is, if he's pulling out a ladder. Yeah, that, that's something that I know Doctor Who now, so I, had, I get that reference. Oh, and there's a guy named Dead Man. No, it's Die Hard Man. Die Hard Man. Die Hard Man. Die Hard Literally man, just yeah. Die Hard with man afterwards. <laughs> it's like, you know what? I'm going to take my favorite movie and add man afterwards. Yeah, die, die Hard, hard man. man. That's what I had imagined like Jake Peralta from Brooklyn Nine-Nine <laughs> would name a character. Yes. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I, I share your concern a little bit because like I was expecting a game to come out maybe in two years, not this one. Yeah, it's like coming um, super soon, which is really surprising But to me. then this whole game has just been a mystifying thing so why not take the mystifying thing all the way to release i mean may as well i mean honestly that's that just perfectly encaptures who he is as a person kojima Uh, Kojima, Kojima. absolutely (laughs) i mean every one of his games make no freaking sense and it's pretty much like the like kingdom hearts description of like i want to good yeah but good good. (laughs) it's like it's like if kingdom hearts convoluted story was done well then you'd end up getting the metal gear series now I'm hoping to see that maybe that story translates over to Death Stranding series, mm-hmm. or if Death Stranding becomes a series, or if it's going to be standalone. Who knows? Yeah. Will this be the sign that Kojima needs restraint or not? We'll figure. We'll figure it out. November eighth. We'll November eighth. Oh my god, that's, that's so like five soon. Mo- five months away. That's so soon for a video game <laughs> review, man. Yeah. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah. Everybody who hasn't been following us this last week, what the heck is wrong with you? Go to our website, staticsmedia.com. We have done recaps and predictions for everything that happened this e3 we have videos coming out of reactions etc we were not able to go to e3 
in person, but we covered a lot of ground and we gave you a lot of good content for E3 and we hope that you guys saw that. Oh yeah, and um, the dream hopefully will be there sometime soon. Yeah. But no matter what, we'll always cover it from here on out. Absolutely, and, uh, and speaking about content and like I said earlier, predictions, we're gonna move forward on uh, something that I wanna do. One of the first conferences that happened was uh, Xbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Microsoft e The Microsoft Xbox press conference, E3 2019. What were our predictions before that happened? So we were saying that Banjo-Kazooie was coming back in a big way this year. Uh, yeah, sort of. Sort, sort of, of, yeah. We just not wrong press yes. conference. <laughs> we said that we were gonna see both the Halo Master Chief Collection and Halo Infinite all running on PC at the press conference. That and didn't they happen. Will, exactly. Yeah, it was murky. Technically, Halo, it Infinite. Halo, uh, Halo Infinite could have been PC because we don't know Scarlet. yet. Yeah, but I mean, they did say it is coming to PC, mm -hmm. which is yeah. a big deal. This is like, I mean, they're porting every Halo game back to PC. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't know, like, back in Halo One, Time Combat involved, mm -hmm. the actual eSport for Halo was played on PC, not mm -hmm. Xbox. Everybody played on PC because it had more, if you didn't know this, it had more guns, mm -hmm. it had more vehicles, and it had more stages than the actual Xbox version. Plus, mouse and keyboard controller, that's like... It was just better for first person Yeah, shooters. that's eSport mana for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so yeah, we said that, and technically Master Chief Collection was represented in Halo Reach, mm -hmm. which was going to be in the beta at the launch of the day of the conference, so we kind of got that right. Uh, we said Microsoft will revive the Halo Online experiment from 2015. We got that dead wrong. Oh, I just... Yeah. I, <laughs> it was I, just a joke prediction. I, yeah. <laughs> I, took, I took a ball and I threw it to left field hoping someone would catch it, realizing that I didn't have a team nor an opposing team playing baseball against yeah. me. Then we said so. Gears Pop is going to be an app. And nailed I it. Nailed it right <laughs> on the head. Oh, oh yes. my lord. Dude, I fucking called that oh, shit. Oh, yes. I was like, when that happened, I was like, I cannot believe that you actually nailed that. Dude, I, was, I mean, it just seems like it would be an app. Oh, yeah. Like, but I could see them also trying to put it on an Xbox, because why not? They yeah. do games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, yeah. I, I just saw that coming from a long way away. I was like, oh, look, and it's also a little concerning. As somebody who likes pop figures myself mm -hmm. and likes to collect things, it's a little concerning that Pop's first uh, official game, official game, it, it's, its first big step into the video gaming world is Gears of War. That's mm. really weird to me. Yeah, especially because Gears is not as popular as it was like last generation. Yeah, but it's like you'd imagine something like, I, I don't know, like something Bethesda related mm -hmm. because I mean, I think their Skyrim line is one of the most sold lines or maybe Dragon Ball. Still I mean, is. who knows? Something that sells more than Gears of War. That's a little, that's mm -hmm. a little odd. Ge Gears 5 looks, again, no gameplay. We don't know yeah. what it looks like. Which, we'll talk about that later like when we talk more about the conference. Like, how are you going to release that game on September 10th and not show gameplay? I know, right? Like, why? Wait, September 10th? Yes. I didn't notice that. Really? It comes out that soon? Yeah. Oh my lord, September you wouldn't is know, packed. Right? Yeah. September is packed this year. Yeah, there's like 100 games coming out that month. Oh my god. We'll play them all. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? No. Yeah, we, we're adults. We can't play that. I'm going to be playing 12 minutes in 12 minutes, and yep. then I'll stop playing that game. Yeah. Moving on. We have uh, Our next prediction was new Xbox hardware shown and released in 2019. It wasn't released. It, wasn't it was released. shown a little. Not even shown. It was just mentioned. Yeah, it was, like, it was partial, right? Yeah, partial. It, yeah. So, eh, I'll Xbox give us a Scarlet. Path, yeah. Project Scarlet's coming. That's kind of exciting. And as an aside. But technically, we have uh, xCloud now. Oh yeah, which that's coming the, out in October. So which, that was, which, by the way, runs flawlessly. I have. We were watching the videos too. I was I, watching that. I have huh? seen so much hands-on like mm -hmm. content with that those last like couple days, mm -hmm. and everybody's saying like they're legitimately surprised how well that runs. Yeah. And I, I think that's that's actually a big hey, thing that we're under, uh, under for notice. streaming. We need to hear that because if they want the streaming future to be a thing, people have to have their hands on it and say this works. Yeah, and like this we'll know with Bethesda later, which. They're like, kind of working on that. Like whenever, uh, like spoiler alert, whenever Bethesda came out with uh, Doom running on, mm -hmm. or was that Xbox? In a, in a phone. It was a phone. Was that the Xbox press conference or the control. Bethesda? At Bethesda. Okay, yeah, and they walked out and they're playing it on the phone. That looked mm -hmm. really good. Yes. Anyways, moving on. Exactly. Was there and then the final thing is Microsoft will announce the acquiring of a new studio. I nailed that. Yep. Double Fine Studio going to Xbox now. Freaking, uh, oh man, what's the guy's name? Who's, uh, who's it? Tim Schafer. Yeah, Tim Schafer. Oh my lord. Do you see the video of his that he did for his acquisition? The freaking funniest thing in the world. I haven't seen it. I'm going to yeah. watch that after this. <laughs> yeah, That's actually interesting. Yeah, he's so blunt and so perfectly Tim Schafer of why he got yeah. he, he got the deal that yeah I'll let you guys go watch it. It's I mean Tim Tim Schafer and uh, oh man I I'm pulling a giant blank today. I'm super stupid and I apologize for this. Tim Schafer and this other dude uh, pretty much wrote Psychonauts from the ground up. One of the like honestly one of the best in underrated games of all time. Mm -hmm. uh, Psychonauts two coming, which is really yeah. exciting. And for everyone worried, if you don't have an Xbox, like if you it's think you don't have an Xbox, it's coming well. to everyone because yeah, it's coming everywhere. It was kickstarted, so yeah, they're fulfilling that, and then from now on, 
every Double Fine game. Which I am be... super excited for, because I, I just found out Double Fine has made more games than I thought they did. And Double Fine makes some pretty solid games, Especially too. for adventure. If you like adventure games, they were like the cream Absolutely. of the crap. And do they do like uh, they do platforming pretty well, too, mm -hmm. which I'm like with Psychonauts. And I'm ex extremely excited to see that. So yeah, anyways, moving on to talking about the Xbox yeah. uh, conference. conference yeah. Let's talk about how our predictions went and how it didn't go. Mm -hmm. As we said, some of them happened, some of them yeah. didn't happen. But overall, I'm just gonna put it this way, Xbox press conference was probably the best press conference mm -hmm. besides Nintendo. Mm -hmm. um, it still was with not without its flaws. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, Cyberpunk 277 looks pretty good. Keanu freaking Reeves. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the that's... best moment of E3 all right. 2019. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk 2077. 2077. <laughs> that was like such a hype moment seeing like him puffing up in the trailer. You're and breathtaking. Then immediately, yeah. <laughs> hey, and that dude's getting a free game. So. Yeah, he's getting a free game, man. Yeah, he, well, because he actually has it on video. Uh -huh. He recorded from his own like perspective, like, you're breathtaking. And then he points right back at him, so oh, no, you're, you're breathtaking. <laughs> and so then he got the, yes. Yeah, so, yeah they added that. So uh, that for Microsoft, cool. yes, they had a good conference in a vacuum. 60 games were shown. That's a lot of Not games. Not all of them were worth like, yeah, exactly. mentioning, honestly, but yeah. some of, yeah. And half of them were like, blasted through in that like indie showcase that's in what they like, yeah, that's. <laughs> but it was also a missed opportunity because sony wasn't here they oh, served oh, yeah, they, and they literally served e3 on a platter uh -huh. to xbox and xbox is like no we don't want your like generosity we're yeah. gonna screw it up ourselves exactly. <laughs> no we're gonna wait to duke it out head to head next year and i'm like no why, why? you had the get opportunity your upper hand yeah get but, your upper hand now yeah, yeah it's so it was like yeah it's like yeah, good games show like a lot of there that I want to play, especially Cyberpunk, uh, Minecraft Dungeons. That was another thing. Yeah, that was yeah, good. That was Switch too. Yeah, and uh, The Outer Worlds was shown there. Many, many, many other games. Uh, so yeah, it was just like good, but it could have been more. It like, could have been, been more. It could have been so. more. Yeah, it was, it was a little disappointing in the end. Mm -hmm. I think honestly, the biggest thing that they showed off was XCloud, and then Project and, Scarlet, and uh, then after that, in my opinion, was the fact that. Uh, was it Xbox Game Pass Premium was a dollar? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that they were like lumping it all together with PC for with 15 PC. bucks going yeah, forward. So yeah, you can get a uh, PC, Xbox a subscription both at the same time for Xbox Pass or what is it called? Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. That's and pretty exciting. also I would say that it's sad that it leaked, but I would think that the biggest announcement they had that there was Elden Ring. That like uh, from software slash George R. R. Martin. Yeah, game. I forgot about that game. Yes, uh, yeah. It's because I, got I'm leaked, excited so. to see how that comes. Excited. By the way, uh, there was some there was some actual more information that released about that after that press conference. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw or not. Uh -huh. It is officially more like Dark Souls than Sekiro, but they said it's going to be like three times longer than Sekiro, which is insanely long. For that is an you, insane for game. For all of you know, uh, our own PJ was the one that did the Sekiro review, and it almost broke. <laughs> I, I. <laughs> I can tell you flat out, I threw my controller multiple times. <laughs> I, The only time I've ever thrown my controller, ever, ever, out of frustration, mm -hmm. and I didn't know exactly when it was, was Halo 2 Legendary, playing it through <laughs> by myself, and trying to go through the uh, Scarab I had level. The scarab level yeah. And I could not get through the freaking bridge on Legendary by myself, because there's when so you're many freaking the tank. tanks. Yeah, when I'm going through the tank. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, there's you get shot once with a freaking plasma pistol, you just die. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, so freaking hard. I remember taking my controller and just chunking it. Oh, yeah. So mad playing yeah. that for four hours me, straight. That was uh, to me that rage moment was Call of Duty World at War. Yeah. It was Iron Veteran. It's horribly, oh, horribly so hard. hard. So like, hard. Bad. Absolutely. Like Renette Hot Potato. But moving on. <laughs> so yeah, Microsoft, good. I wish it was more. Uh, it was but, good. It was good. Yeah. I, uh, exactly. Let's do this. Exactly. We've been doing a lot of tier lists recently. Mm -hmm. Let's say where we're to fall on the tier list. A solid B. I'd say, yeah, B plus. Yeah, I was actually yeah. gonna say the same thing. I think B plus. I think we can high five on yes. that. Snap around the mic. Yes. The uh, anyways, yeah. So passing that, uh, passing that off. We finished Xbox as a B plus on our on our scale. It was a pretty good conference yeah. overall. It could have been more. Yeah. Um, spoiler alert: uh, Nintendo straight up S tier, in my opinion. Yes, Move. I would agree with that. But but let's, just let's, in comparison to everything that yeah, came, we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, ju just to kind of like. I hate to do this to people who are big Ubisoft fans or Square Enix fans, but I kind of want to sweep this under the rug, and I kind of uh, want to talk and about Bethesda also. Don't and forget. honestly, Bethesda too. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things. Like, just spoiler alert again: uh, their press conference fucking sucked. Yeah. Every all mm -hmm. every single one of them fucking sucked. Mm -hmm. They were awful press yes. conferences, and I'd rather like just 
skim over them than actually mm -hmm. go in detail. Nah. So can we go ahead and actually hit all of our predictions? Yes. And, and then, then just, just yeah, real quick minus Nintendo on. and then just go ahead yeah, and just so, run through those. So on Bethesda, we predicted that Todd Howard was going to lie to our face for 30 minutes straight. I said six minutes straight, didn't I? Uh, 30, actually. <laughs> I did? Yes. I thought, when did, I thought it did. Okay, whatever. Yeah. It, it was something later that was six minutes. I'll let you gotcha, know what it was. Gotcha, gotcha, so, gotcha. That was sort of true if you divide it by 10. He lied to us for like three minutes in a so, way. So, sort of. well, let's put it this yeah. way. Um, Todd Howard himself didn't lie to us, Yeah. but the entire company lied to us the entire press conference. Because Commander Keen, woo! They put their own freaking employees in front row. Uh, like, that's lying. Yes. Like, excitement, <laughs> fake excitement on a conference like that, that's uh -huh. straight up lying to us. Exactly. So yeah. it was like... No one's excited yeah. for Commander Keen. I know, Keen. especially how random that reveal was. Uh, Fall 76 going to become free to play? Nah. Well, it's free right now for seven days, but not, not what we play, meant. Which yeah. is sad. Yeah. They're having an, exp an expansion to the game, which is, mm -hmm. uh, um, they're saying it's going to make it actually playable and enjoyable, mm -hmm. and it's called Fallout 76. Yep. And they're yeah. going to have <laughs> NPCs with dialogue, which everyone cheered because NPCs are so innovative. Yeah. Oh no, they're not, because that should have been in the game from, from day beginning. one. Yeah, and, which, which, by the way, I think, like I said earlier, I think my favorite uh, meme that I saw about this was like, the expansion for Fallout 76 is called Fallout 76. Like, yep. this is actually the game they promised for <laughs> yep. once. Wow. Yeah, but to be fair, they're not charging an extra cent, so good for them. Yeah, good, at for, least. Them. So, good for them. Yeah. Awesome. We hey, said, you know, good uh, for them for actually doing something that they promised to do. Exactly. Wow. Finally. Finally. They're wow. still waiting on that bag, uh, on that nylon bag. They're not the bag. And also, <laughs> also super, like, niche for the people who know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bethesda also for the same thing, Fallout 76, mm -hmm. also had their uh, Nuka Cola Dark promotion. Do you know what that was? Uh, was it like an energy drink thing? No, it was their liquor. They made a liquor and it was supposed to come in this nice bottle. Uh -huh. Anyways, it was just a normal bottle on the inside with a plastic shell. They said it was all going to be glass. It wasn't. It was a plastic shell. Also, the lip on top was so freaking big and the bottle ended like down beneath, like an inch beneath the lip that you actually couldn't pour it. It would actually roll over and pour here. So you can even pour it into your like thing if you're trying to drink it. Yeah. And they said it tastes like piss. It was bad <laughs> liquor too. Yeah. You know how much they charge people for it? Over a hundred dollars. You gotta be kidding. I'm not kidding you. Wow. Yeah. And they were also <laughs> five months late <laughs> with delivering. It's it. just what Fallout 76 has just been banger after banger after banger of disastrous PR. It's just so <laughs> bad PR. I cannot believe their incompetence with this everything surrounding this game. But yeah, um, hey, they're gonna fix it. What I, was that ghost whatever game that they announced? Uh let me uh keep talking while I look it up real quick. Uh it was like Ghost Y or something, yes, whatever. Got some ghost something Tokyo. Uh but yeah, but yeah, so that was like the new Jinji Mikami game. game. Yes. Yeah, so that looks really fun. They had freaking Jinji Mikami game. Ghostwire Tokyo. I was right. Yes, so, Ghostwire Tokyo. Yes. So yep. yeah, so basically an action horror game. So not quite like survival horror, ally like Evil Within. Yeah. No gameplay or release window shown, but yeah. hey, at least it was like something. The internet you know. is falling in love with the director of that game. Yes. Like oh my lord, everyone's falling in love with her. Yes. Like, hey, if. if in a sucky three, we can follow up at least with some people that were presenting. Keanu Reeves, yeah. whatever her name, what's her name? I have no idea what her name was, but it's, it's, she was the creative director of this game. Yeah. And a dog. And then a dog. <laughs> I would die for the dog. Yes. Everybody would die for the dog. Oh, yes. And then, um, so yeah, it was Ghost War Tokyo, and then they announced, um, what was this, uh, this arcane game called Deathloop? Death which, loop. Yeah, yeah which, and that. again, another game where there was no release window or gameplay shown, but they were like, if you like Dishonored, it's our kind of game, so be excited for that. So, But then other than that, other things that we predicted for Bethesda, um, you found her? Yeah. No, okay. no, sorry, go on. All right, so we predicted Starfield will have a presence at the conference, despite them saying it's not going to be in the show. They actually stayed true to their word. There was no Starfield. Yeah, I'm really sad about it, because yeah. the game's supposed to come out next year-ish. They like said next what, gen, so next gen starts next year, so... Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever. Star, so for everyone who doesn't know what Starfield is, uh, it's been in the talks for over three years Since now, like actually. Since, like, 2015. Yeah, it's been in the talks for, like, tw like, three years, but it's finally shown off a little bit. At least announced that it's coming mm -hmm. last year. It's going to be the pretty much the uh, Skyrim Fallout equivalent of In Space. So imagine Dead Space or, like, the Alien series, mm -hmm. but with the Fallout or uh, Skyrim engine. Or even uh, No Man's Sky, but with, actual dialogue, but with an actual story in it. I would uh, say, like yeah. It's, it's I mean, just to be space travel and all yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, space travel and such. But I, I just imagine like more like Fallout esque, where like you're going to different space stations and like mm -hmm. fighting aliens, and you're probably gonna have some creepy like mm -hmm. alien Ripley style yes. like space station as a 
Purdue to it. And well, stuff. and the good thing is if people, if that sounds awesome, like there's a game kind of similar to that coming from Obsidian, The Outer Worlds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, the game looks fun. Yeah, so that could be like hard. a little, that could be a little uh, appetizer for that. Yeah. We said that there's going to be an awful live music performance. Unfortunately, there was no live. There was no live music yeah. this year from everybody. Actually, there was. There was? Uh, in Ubisoft. I'll talk, I mentioned that oh, later. Oh, the one yeah. I didn't see. Yeah, yeah that's why. Okay. Yeah. And we said Doom Eternal will receive a fall release date. We actually nailed that. Uh, November 22nd. High five. And I was just going to say, the best game that they showed. That yeah. demo was Doom really Eternal. cool. Doom if you... Eternal looks great. Yeah. Doom 1 was great, and Doom Eternal looks Even great. better. If See we... you in hell. Yes. <laughs> And then we finish with, there's going to be a raffle for the entire live audience to see who will be the new voice actor for a new unannounced game. Definitely we... It was right. It happened. Yeah. They just didn't, they just <laughs> didn't, didn't show it. it. So, they well, didn't show it yeah. live. It happened. <laughs> it but happened it, because, Yeah, they just... Yeah, yeah. Because Bethesda, Bethesda got a Bethesda. Moving yeah, on. We, we have our inside sources. It happened. Yes. Trust me. Anyways, it's actually the guy who screened for Commander Keen. Yes. That actually is the guy who's going to be the new voice actor for Commander Keen and the new Commander Keen mm -hmm. game that's going to be in the Skyrim engine. Anyways. Right. Yeah, Moving we'll on. trust our sources. Yeah, Moving trust on. our sources. <laughs> and then, trust me, bro. Then, like the next day, we started with Ubisoft, and I'll just say this: uh, game companies, if you have nothing to show, just don't come to E3. Don't even come. Just don't even, don't don't even, even bother. Pull a full on Sony. Yeah, do, or Ubisoft, do a direct. Or sit do a direct, down. Or just sit do a direct. Down. I know. Do direct, like because actually, uh, no, we missed something here. We didn't make predictions for it, but Devolver. Yes, we didn't mention <laughs> that. So Devolver did a direct, yeah. literally a Nintendo that, uh, direct that was S tier. If I had to rank, I would it. say A tier. I yeah. don't think it was nowhere near as good as Nintendo, yeah. but it was definitely better than everything. Yeah, else. in production wise, just like them, like continuing this joke that they've been like going for for the last three years. Yeah. I'm like, God bless them. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I keep yeah. forgetting they made Swords of Ditto, which mm -hmm. is actually a really great game. Yeah, so Devolver is pretty cool. I like them exactly, and they good show games. like quite a different, quite a variety of games. By the way, the Messenger by them is on sale. If you want that Ooh, game. it's on sale okay. right now. Uh, I'll probably go look into that right now. It's, no, uh, never mind. I will finish this and look later. It's uh, actually oh. pretty cheap on the uh, Switch. I think it's like seven or something like that. Perfect. So, yeah, it's perfect. Um, Anyways, moving on. Devolver was great. Straight 19 eight minutes. Eight yeah, eight tier. And it was 19 minutes. So it didn't waste our time. And we laughed the whole way. The whole so. way. The entire time. Um, I'm excited for the reverse horror game. That looks yeah. kind of cool. Uh, anyways, and then, yeah, so back to... Uh, Ubisoft. No, back to Bethesda. We didn't oh, give yeah, it a sorry. rating. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh... C. This it was a straight C. No, C minus. C minus. Yeah. C minus. Yeah, the guy screaming in the front for Commander King was kind of a stretch. C yes. minus. Absolutely. Yes. And uh, the only thing that says it is Doom Eternal. And let's not forget, uh, we sort of mentioned it. Uh, and Ghostwire. Uh, Orion. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you forgot yeah. Orion. So which for is everybody probably who, the biggest announcement at E3. At E3 but to E3. everybody who's watching and everyone who listens to us, it's not going to mean anything to you. Yeah. But everybody who makes video games and such, this is probably a giant deal for them. Mm -hmm. um, so kudos to everybody in the industry. I'm excited to see what comes from Orion. But mm -hmm. we, in the way of like fans and people who play video games, this isn't a big deal for us right now. Yeah. So moving on, Orion's mm -hmm. cool. Awesome. Glad for the game community. It, it might actually make game streaming something legit. Yeah, I'm so, excited to see if that happens. So uh, moving on, uh, they get a C minus. Yes, uh, Orion for yeah, Orion's cool, but I still think they get a C minus. Exactly. Uh, Ubisoft straight up D, I, in my opinion. Yeah, right? it will be a D or an F. It's a D. Okay. All right, because, tell me why. Uh, tell okay, me. right, because I was the one that watched it. Uh, yeah. So uh, we were talking about Luke. Oh, because the dog. D for dog. <laughs> D for dog. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so our predictions there. There was like. There will be a new Nintendo crossover. There was no new Nintendo, no crossover, Nintendo crossover this year. Crossover, sadly. Bombshell. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell is back and will, it will be the closing game of the show. It's 0.33% right on that one. So if he's sort of back in a mobile game that's like all no! cartoony. So they massacred our boy. No! <laughs> so, um, we said they're going for the strikeout. They announced the Crew 3. No, the Crew 3. Um, a sequel to Raymond Legends finally Wait, revealed. Wait, the what three? The crew. The, that the racing. crew three? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah no, the crew that I was like, this, by the way, the crew two fucking sucked. Yeah, so let's just, gotta, let's just keep awful. moving. Absolutely. Um, a sequel to Raymond Legends is finally revealed. Unfortunately, no Raymond. That's Man. really sad. Yeah. You know how long has it been since they've made Raymond Legends? Six years. And it's been ported to everything. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves Raymond exactly. Legends. Everyone says it's an amazing game. Why haven't they made a sequel? Ubisoft yeah. is stupid. Yeah. Why make a sequel? To like Watch Dogs, why make a sequel to everything else when you know Raymond Legends is going to sell and be highly praised, whereas Watch Dogs is just a copy paste game? 
Yeah, and and that's that's where I will uh, refute it a little bit because they're trying something a little different now. Yeah, with I mean, the, the, with the new Watch Dogs Three, is, uh, Watch Dogs Three Legion, or whatever. Yeah, Watch Dogs yeah. Legion. Yeah, yeah, it looks. I mean, fun. you can play with a grandma. Grandma, <laughs> grandma you plays every right. NPC. You plays every NPC, which is yes. exciting. I mean, that's uh, cool. with permadeath. It's really? Gonna be, yeah. So like I every didn't see so, that. so every okay. NPC that you get, yeah. Uh, if you they if they get killed, they get killed, and every mission is gonna change based on the NPC that you bring into that mission. Wow. With different exciting. dialogue, and I've been hearing that game's causing been causing them a lot of development trouble because it's way too ambitious. Mm -hmm. But if I'm honest, they need that ambition because Watch Dogs hasn't really moved the needle. So and if they wanted to move the needle, they gotta go for that. Yeah. Uh, we said Ubisoft revives an old classic. The Settlers is coming back as an always online open world game. Dead wrong. <laughs> Dead wrong. And then Tower Synchronization, the game. There was no Tower Synchronization game there. Uh, Watch Dogs 3 Legion. Uh, to, if, if I'm actually honest, they've actually been moving away from the Tower Synchronization for a while now. Really? Okay. Yeah, so, I don't like, play, everybody at home, I don't play a lot of Ubisoft yeah, games. So, I'm not a huge fan of the company yeah. nor their games. Yeah. If you like them, kudos to you, yeah, but I, I like not. them. So, so yeah. I'll be your, I'll be your guys' representative there. Thank you. <laughs> so. Whereas, he's a fan of Ubisoft games. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of turn-based JRPGs, mm -hmm. where he's not. We'll get into that later. Exactly. Not. And, um, so yeah, and that's emblematic to a problem that Ubisoft had that they literally had nothing. The yeah. only big game that they showed was that. Then they announced an offshoot for Rainbow Six Siege that's like um, that's like based on the mode that they were testing out. It's like Rainbow Six Quarantine, if I'm not mistaken, it was called. Yes, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's Rainbow like, Six Siege is a great game. If, they if have, you like that kind of if game. If you like that, then yeah. look it up. Though yeah. this time it's not competitive. It's actually PvE. It's just a co-op shooter where you're fighting infected people. Uh, no, the that's kind of dumb. Oh, yeah. and then, uh, oh man, now some... We forgot about this in Bethesda. Fallout 76 has a freaking battle royale now. Yep. Which I played it's yesterday. It's PvPVE. Yeah. You played it? Yeah. Is it any good? Yeah, it's kind of fun. Really? I, I, was, I was very surprised. PvPVE? Was it great? Yeah. I need to check it out. We should yeah. check, check that out sometime. Tonight. Yeah. We'll, we'll, Which, by the way, for everyone who listens to us weekly, thank you so much. I'm just going to th throw that out there every fucking week. Thank you. 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 Uh, Alejandro is going to play Minecraft tonight for his first Finally. time with me. Live, not for you live, but live in person. Yes, I'll so, finally get to see what the fuss is about because yeah. I've been told many times that I need to play that. Are so. you a creative person? Not really. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> anyway, that's not what I was hoping. That's not what I was hoping to hear. So, yeah, but yeah, um, right, whatever. So, um, and other things that Ubisoft announced was like updates for For Honor and the Division Two, which yay if you like those games. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then well, Roller no. Champions Alpha if you like rollerblading. Yeah, who gives a fuck? And. Uh, <laughs> Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild style game called Gods and Monsters. Which looks great. Yeah. I checked it out. You exactly. told me to check it out. Looks oh, yes. Great. It's like I'm the excited. one thing that was like, okay, this is cool. I'm very skeptical, though, because that's what we saw. I, I know. So, so yeah. uh, Watch Dogs Legion and... This game are literally the only big announcements. I usually don't ever buy any Ubisoft game the day of release or the week of release. I always wait for a price drop. I'll they probably, drop price really fast. Yeah, I'll probably wait mm -hmm. to see if they drop price for that game. The Gods and Monsters, whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to come out next year really, yeah. really early. So Yeah, so well, I'll wait till a price drop yeah. and then probably buy it. Just so that was literally an hour 15 of a conference. Only that two games way announced. Too That's way, way too long. Way too just long. to freaking just direct. Just don't even show yeah, up. Yeah, don't even show don't up. Even show That's up. all you're going to show up. Yeah, D for dog. Yeah. And then later that day, we got Square Enix. Was the dog in Square Enix? Or no, it, that's actually a Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Okay, that so was D for when, dog. It gets a D for dog. Yes. And cool dog. that was even just for John Bernthal, the actor who's going to be in the new Ghost Recon, just to kind of give a stupid speech there. And then there was a dog next to him, just like staring at the, staring at us. And I was like, okay, cute dog. Moving on. All right. Uh, so Square, Square Enix. Enix. I want to I wanna hit this for like a minute. Yes, I, I'll, this say this. Like, wow. I'll, I'll say this. I'll say this. If you were just to look at a list of what they announced, that was a great conference. If you were to actually watch the conference, what a shit show. Holy crap. That was the most... I could barely stay awake trying to watch that thing. I remember. You were like, yeah, I came home and you are watching it and you were like, dude, this fucking sucks. Yeah, I was like, like, this I'm is trying to stay awake. It's like, you just falling asleep while watching it. it was yeah, and great. I think part of me is that because I'm not the JRPG guy, so a lot of those games was like... Not yeah, to but me, I but am, uh, and that press conference is awful. I tried uh, watching it at the gym the other day, and uh -huh. I turned it off. It's like, I love JRPGs. Mm -hmm. That, that sucked. Yeah. It was fucking awful. <laughs> exactly. And if don't you like Final Fantasy VII, yeah. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy VII is cool. Final Fantasy VIII is getting a remake, which is a big deal because mm -hmm. they thought we lost the uh, the uh, source, source code. code it's back. It's here. <laughs> um, so that's cool. I mean, that, that's that's about it. And obviously. then Avengers, which I was like Avengers the big was very hype thing. And there was like, why are you not showing real gameplay? And apparently they're actually showing it in the show floor. I'm like, if you're showing it in the show floor, at least show it show to it us. Show it in the fucking if, like, yeah. Especially oh if it's God. coming out next May, I'm like, if you're not showing me gameplay, I don't believe you're it coming out next May. Yeah, awesome. Oh, yes. I'm excited for that. So, um, 
but last thing I want to mention about uh, Square Enix before moving on, uh, they did do something kind of cool, and by that I mean they made a long list of awesome memes. Just look at the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 oh, yes. DLC trailer <laughs> with no voice acting, like they forgot a point. Poi. They forgot to poi. They forgot to fucking pay their voice actors to come in and, and do new, and voices, do, for do new voices for it or something. So the trailer's just like dead silent with awkward music in the background, and, and it has the bet. Just take any line from that trailer and put and it on a joke, and it's gonna be perfect. It, put it as a meme. <laughs> what, what was the one that you saw the TSA one? It, that it was like when when your TSA agent asks you why you are not taking your North Face jacket off, and then the actual line is like. My jacket protects me from the darkness. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, so and for everybody who's like, oh, Kingdom Hearts is great writing. It's so inspiring. And I want to be, I, want, I just, here, let me explain to you the entire Kingdom Hearts storyline. Let me exhibit tell you this. Exhibit A of why it's not. <laughs> it, 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 one of the many exhibits of why the story, the story writing of that is just fucking trash. Yep. It's so and bad. I like the games, but I can't refute that. That's like the worst part of those games. And don't even say Kingdom Hearts three with the freaking uh, cutscenes too were awful because the lines were actually provided separately. They didn't do lines in mm -hmm. the same room. Exactly. They took each line separately and they spaced them out awkwardly yeah. because it's a Japanese thing to like take some awkward pause before they start speaking. So they didn't like really retool it for actual English. Like in Japanese, that wouldn't make sense. Not uh, not always. Yeah, they're usually very fast. Mm -hmm. A lot like Filipino people, when they speak, they speak really fast. And mm -hmm. they're usually that way too. Yeah. Um, it's It was just really weird seeing that because like, for instance, Riku and Mickey trying to talk to each other, uh -huh. Riku would say something like, hello, Mickey, and then just a little sec. <laughs> Oh, Riku, hello. And it's like, <laughs> so, it's so bad. It's so bad. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. Uh, so it gets, in my opinion, straight up F tier. Awful. D awful minus F plus, awful, yeah. F it's an awful conference. Yes. It was, no need for it to exist. Mm -hmm. It was way too long, way too boring. They didn't really announce anything super crazy yeah. because they saved a lot of things for Nintendo, mm -hmm. which, by the way, was about to mention. Oh, actually, last thing, Square Enix. I'll get, you know what? Screw it. I'll give them a D minus. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because they're remaking uh, Crystal Chronicles. My favorite uh, mm -hmm. Final Fantasy game of all time. Yeah. Love that game. It's really cute looking. And uh, have you ever played it? GameCube. Yeah. You played it on GameCube. Oh, yeah, it's such a great game. Mm -hmm. I love it. Absolutely. I remember renting it from Blockbuster. R.I.P. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually there's still one left. If you uh, go to find it funny, <laughs> if you find uh, if you like dark humor and you like to listen to this and us cursing, mm -hmm. go check out uh, at the last Blockbuster mm -hmm. on Twitter. It's fucking comedy yes. gold. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, ever, overall, if you were to just see a big list of what they showed at Square Enix, they showed some good stuff. They should have just done a direct. Yeah, just absolutely. do a direct. Like, I honestly feel the, like I feel like they shouldn't even have press conferences anymore. I so uh, in the words of uh, in the words of the guy who owns and runs the company who does Comic Con um, every year, which is a as everybody knows, Comic Con is quite successful. They Coming said, soon. yeah, they they. He says multiple times, E3, which by the way, if you didn't know this, he offered to buy E3. Mm -hmm. from and them, they said yeah. no. This was years ago. Mm -hmm. E3 absolutely should not be for like actual. Cons or it, for actual uh, for uh, press? It not for press. Or for like uh, consumers? Not consumers. It should be for consumers. Yeah. What it, it shouldn't be for the. Um, God, why can't I think of it? The. Fuck! The, uh, <laughs> come on, man, help me. I'm you know to, words I'm, more than I'm, I'm, I do. I'm trying to think The people about, who make video games. I should be for companies? <laughs> it shouldn't, for the freaking Game developers? <laughs> it shouldn't be for developers. It shouldn't be for the business. Whatever. What the? <laughs> fuck me. Uh, it shouldn't, yeah. Anyways, it shouldn't be for people who make video games. It shouldn't be for, um, retailers. Mm -hmm. Boom. There it shouldn't be for retailers, and it shouldn't be for all these other things. Sony has it right. Hey, let's do something for retailers in February because it's way too late in the year to wait till June mm -hmm. for the Christmas time mm -hmm. and holiday time announcements. Yeah. So let's give them something in February. Mm -hmm. E3 should have always been for the fans. Mm -hmm. It should have been where we could go, go to the show floor, see brand new games, and play them early mm -hmm. and try the games. Because you know how exciting that would be if Nintendo's like, hey, Smash Brothers comes out and like, Five months you want to play it early come to e3 mm -hmm. everybody would show up exactly. that's what they should be doing yeah they're stuck in trying to make e 3 still be the old thing and after this e 3 i'm like we really don't need it like, no just literally just do an online only direct exactly. and you'll be completely of fine. your of your all all companies just do your directs it's going to be much cheaper much You're cheaper and much better time and but, people will love you a lot more yeah respectful of your time everything like and then Bring all your games to E3, make it like a PAX. Yeah, literally, bring it, yeah, bring your game. So, 
do your directs on certain days of E3, mm -hmm. and, dur and during those directs that you do, have those games on the show floor, mm -hmm. and invite press mm -hmm. to interview you. So be there, mm -hmm. so you can have interviews and exactly. such. Exactly, because have, you need the press. Yeah. yeah, so have press there to play the game and try it for the first time. Have fans there be there to play the game and try it for the first time. Mm -hmm. Get the press in the day early, so they can try the things without a line, mm -hmm. and then the day after, uh, release the actual fans onto the show floor. I think that would go so much exactly. better. Right now, from what I've been reading with what they're doing, they're just opening it straight up while press is trying to cover the game and everyone coming it's in. Awful. It's, it's a mess. It's a fucking it's like, mess. It's a fucking mess. And we, and like, I'm we glad I'm not cover. there, yeah, honestly, exactly. sometimes. <laughs> so anyways, moving on from E3 and talking about directs, Nintendo fucking, fucking nailed, nailed it. it. Yeah, and I've got to preface this. It was a good direct. I've seen directs from them that have been a little bit more hyped. The fact that everything else was trash, relatively speaking, helped elevate this to be even better. It was great. Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, to be honest, as as a standalone, I think the director was amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, they announced a freaking sequel to uh, Breath, Breath of the, of the Wild. Wild. <laughs> they announced, which. Um, a little uh, spoiler to anybody who doesn't know anything about me. I am a huge fan of Dragon Quest. I'm trying to get Alejandro to play it right now. He's not huge into turn-based RPGs. It's okay. Dragon Quest is one of my favorite series of all time, and they announced not one, not two, not three, but four Dragon Quest heroes for Smash Brothers. And oh my God, did I lose my shit? Oh, he did. And <laughs> um, and I wasn't. I didn't understand why, but the I, more I, the more I learned, I understand why now. <laughs> it's such a big deal to me, and it's like I think literally one of my favorite games of all time, probably top top ten, maybe top yes. five, is Dragon Quest Eight. That and game I, is almost flawless in my opinion. Yeah, and I'll say this: like their reaction to those characters was pretty tame overall. Like from what I was seeing, but now I understand why because they don't understand what a big deal of Dragon Quest no one is in history of the history of the JRPG. But, but I showed you, I looked it up in Japanese, Japanese text on YouTube. Oh, they're losing their mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I, I looked it up. I translated from English to Japanese Dragon Quest Smash re er, reaction, and we found so many reactions of people in Japanese who are losing their shit mm -hmm. about it. But all the American people, like Etika and etc. And uh, Shofu were just like, oh, cool. Why? I mean, who wanted this? I wanted this. Yes. They wanted this. But speaking of Smash characters, mm -hmm. Banjo, Banjo Kazooie, Kazooie. Which, which was my prediction. Yes. <laughs> In a different list, but you actually got it. <laughs> In a different list? Yeah. It was no, no, no. I put Banjo for Smash. Oh, yeah. You, yeah I did. Yes, I did. called it. Yeah, and did I, did I not tell you right before the direct, I said that I think they're going to announce two characters, one at the beginning and one at the end. Yes. Thank one technically wasn't at the end end, mm -hmm. but they said that hey, this is the this is the end. We're ending with this, so technically yeah. the end of the actual direct. But I mean, the ending section. I'll the, give it to you. Yeah, it was the ending section yeah. at the beginning and at the end. They announced two characters, the next two, and I said in quote, it was going to be Banjo and Dragon, Dragon Quest. Quest. I called it right on the fucking nail. Oh yes, you did. And I'm just gonna go ahead and make the next two yeah. predictions. Because um, I'm, I want this on record before we, we can do it. We can go through the predictions real quick just to see what we got right yeah, now. Let's just say, I want to make my prediction for the next two Smash characters. I want this on record because if this is right, you can thank me later. The next character to be announced for Smash Brothers is going to be Minecraft Steve. Oh, yeah. And the one after that is going to be Doom Slayer. And if it's not Doom Slayer, whatever. I'm just telling you next, now, the next character is Minecraft Steve. If I am right, expect Doom Slayer or something really, really crazy for the last one. The reason why I think Doom Slayer, I saw a leak that has incredible, and I mean incredible, like, sources, mm -hmm. and everyone thought it was fucking fake. They were like, oh, it's gonna be Joker, Erdrick, and then they were like, Banjo, or er, er, Minecraft Steve, and then Doom Slayer. He has three out of five right, and people yeah. are like, wait, what the fuck? This is like... A little weird for them to get this right. So we attribute uh, this information to the leak. Thanks, leak. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and the reason why I think that this guy's right is just because Minecraft is now he got three out of he's got he three, got three out of five, out of five now, right, so. including Dragon Quest. No <laughs> one expected that. Uh -huh. I'm mean, especially in the West. And on top of that, Minecraft is now the most selling g game of all time. It is a perfect example of an indie game done right mm -hmm. so it's good you know how much nintendo loves their indies right mm -hmm. and now how they have a partner with microsoft it just makes freaking sense yeah and a lot of people are upset because they're like well banjo's a microsoft rep yes actually but he, he wasn't yeah. originally if you were looking at that direct that was like three microsoft representations there there was banjo mm -hmm. there was a super lucky stale yeah and minecraft dungeons mm -hmm. those are microsoft games so like their partnerships like being very fruitful, and we got copied earlier this year, so yeah. that's like already four things. I'm loving it. I'm yeah, loving so. it. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I'm Microsoft for it. like Microsoft being real forward thinking yeah. with how and like they're interacting with their competitors, which and I highly appreciate. One quick just comment about Doom Slayer. Mm -hmm. I want to mention the reason why I think it's gonna be something like that 
is first off, it's from the people who made the first first-person shooter of all mm -hmm. time. Uh, like how Dragon Quest isn't actually the first turn-based RPG, but is made by the person who made the first turn-based RPG, mm -hmm. and his it is his baby. Technically, it went from the old like computer turn-based RPG went right into Dragon Quest. So Dragon Quest pretty much created the on-console version of turn-based RPGs that we see now. And honestly, the combat system was created in Dragon Quest, not in the original thing. You mm -hmm. actually had to type stuff out, and the old thing is awful. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. He has six historical significance. Yeah. So, and that's Doom. Do Doom does too. Mm -hmm. Doom has incredible like historical significance. And you know the meme. Yeah. Can it run Doom? Exactly. And on and top then, of that, um, Minecraft, like the biggest indie in the whole world. Yeah. Persona Five, the biggest JRPG currently, currently in Japan. Yeah. Um, the Sakurai like loves it. Mm -hmm. He like bends over for it. Yeah. He's like, this game is amazing. And Banjo, like a, a big. Everyone Everyone has been crying exactly. for it. Big figure in the N64 era. It makes sense. Yes, and yeah. the reason why I know everyone's like, why Doom? Why Doom? Why Doom? It's because Nintendo is showing a new direction. Mm -hmm. Nintendo has been showing consistently that they have a new direction. They have Doom on the Switch. They have all these crazy games on the Switch. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the last character announced in the Wii U, was a character that no one thought could actually be in Smash, mm -hmm. Bayonetta, because she's way too sexual. Mm -hmm. Her literal clothes is made out of her hair. Whenever she attacks, she loses clothes. Mm -hmm. People are like, there's no way this character's gonna be put in Smash. And it's they too, put her there. It's too adult. <laughs> they put her in Smash. An E plus 10 rated game, and she's from an M rated game, so everything goes at this point. So here's my, that's why I think. Mm -hmm. I think Doom Slayer's gonna be put in Smash because everyone's gonna be like, how in the fuck did that happen? Mm -hmm. It's literally about ripping people in half, yes. like, <laughs> and like being as gruesome as you could possibly be. Shotgun. <laughs> Literally, and we're gonna get the fucking BFG, dude. Like, <laughs> that's gonna be the, the BFG final and smash. smash. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna happen. Yeah. I just, just watch. Anyways, moving on. What were our predictions? So we started with saying Luigi's Mansion Three was gonna be shown off with an October release date. Half of it right because not it was too late. Shown not too late yes. to be released in exactly. October. Yeah. So very weird that they're like, oh, still coming in 2019. I'm like, okay, why didn't you just say October? Because. That's yeah, just it's a, little, it's a little weird. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a little weird they didn't announce it, but it's not too late because they may be releasing a direct in September. Yeah, which could be the surprise announcement that hey, by the way, we just mentioned three comes out next month. Yes, so it could they could happen. I mean, they pretty much did that one with uh, Mario Maker too. They can, yeah, they were like comes out yeah. in like a month and a half, and we're like what? Anyways, yeah, why not? Uh, Pikmin 4 is official, coming 2020. Pikmin 3 coming this year to Switch. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. Dead. Didn't happen. Animal Crossing is the official December Nintendo Switch game. Dead wrong. It got, delayed. it got delayed. It got delayed. So many people are crying about yes. it. <laughs> which I agree. That's yeah. very But sad. then when you see how many games are coming to the system, don't cry too much. Yeah, we like, have so many games. Wait, so many, many games, games coming. Uh, don't worry about solid it. Solid six minutes of indie games. I would say it was like two or three minutes. It was three. So yeah, they, they, were, they, were, yeah. they were very respectful of our time. Yes. Um, yeah. Left field announcement: Diddy Kong Racing coming back. Wrong. Wrong. Hey, it was a, <laughs> I, it was out of left field. Yes, I wanted exactly. to make hey. a weird prediction. Hey, it was, we would have got it. It's like that's what makes this fun. Uh, Banjo Kazooie Smash, big one. Big Vanilla. one. Called yeah, it yeah, yeah. right on the fucking yeah. nose. This one made me cry. It wasn't there. Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch is official. With Metroid Prime Three remade and readjusted without motion controls. Available now. Nope. Nope. Uh, new Mario Baseball or Mario Soccer game. I'm very sad. Yeah, but we did get a sport game. We did? Yeah, the Olympics. Oh, yeah! yeah. So, so Mario Sonic... Exactly. Dude, I should have called that. Yes. Everyone knew that was coming. <laughs> Mario Sonic Olympic yeah. games. That and, looks a lot of fun. And then I said, like... Nintendo Dude, Bowser in the trailer? Bowser straight up, like, judo kicks Peach I, in the Peach face. Is. Dude. It's so amazing. Fucking abuse. Like, Bowser's like, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> like, I've kidnapped, I've kidnapped you so many times, I'll just... I'm just gonna start beating you. <laughs> you now. Wow, what an abusive yeah. motherfucker! And then I, I speaking I, of Bowser, they literally abused him on like on the street. They made fun of him. They joke like, <laughs> like they're doing my boy Bowser wrong. No wonder he's beating Peach now. Like yep, he, he comes in with his whole tie. tie. And all that, he's and ready like, for the direct. <laughs> it's so sad. They were like, no Bowser. And get then the, the fuck real out of here. Doug Bowser comes in and be like, hey, no, I'm the Bowser talking here. So, so get here, out of but, here. But here's the question: Does that mean that Bowser's first name is Doug? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a, a big lizard named Doug. Why not? <laughs> so, um, and then uh, we I said Nintendo tries a new sport for Mario. Mario hockey is real. Nope. Wasn't there a hockey in that Olympics thing? Maybe in the glimpse? But uh, I'm not going to give myself that one. It's like, that's... Uh, that was oh, Oliver's guess. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah he was. Yeah, that was uh, Oliver's guess for oh, that one. I forgot that one. Sorry, Oliver. Um, and then we said there will be new DLC for Super Mario Party this year. And so sad! No! Super Mario Party 2 announced for release no! next year. Nothing. I'm so mad about that! Yeah. Super Mario Party is such a good game, but it's obvious, it's so obvious that it's just a base foundation for something bigger that's coming. And I'm yeah. so upset they didn't. God. Yeah, it was Dang. unfortunate. Right, and then 
Iwata comes back as a hologram, like two pack to announce the 4K DS. Of course, joke prediction: we got that wrong. <laughs> I don't. I, sure. I, that's what people think. Yeah. He can't come back in a direct. He has to come back on stage. And you guys weren't there for the uh, secret Statics only presentation where we got to meet Iwata in person. He's not actually dead. He's actually al alive with Hitler. Yeah. It's actually kind of surprising. <laughs> um, anyways, Mario Kart 9 is a thing. That's wah, what I am. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. But I think we got quite a few, right? More than I even expected. Yeah, we got a lot right, surprisingly. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, honestly, a lot of our a mm -hmm. lot of our predictions were kind of jokes yes. anyways. We did them as, as humorously, mm -hmm. and of course those didn't come right. Yes. Um, I'll say that we even skipped the, our predictions for Square. I'll just say it right out, right out here. We got all of them wrong. No need to even go through them. Yeah, we got them, <laughs> we got them all wrong. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyways, so that, that pretty much wraps up our predictions. Um, now, Nintendo, let's do our reaction. Nintendo was great. Yeah. They announced a lot of great things. I freaked out for both uh, Super Smash Bros. things. Uh, mm -hmm. Luigi's Mansion 3 looks a lot of fun. It's freaking yeah. co-op. That's yes. a big deal. Exactly. Um, and not only that, it's like bringing all, mixing both elements of the original and the second game. Which like looks fun. We'll, yeah. we'll see more exactly. once ever we get our hands on it. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Animal Crossing looks great. You can have a garden gnome, mm -hmm. which is a big freaking deal for me. Yeah. Uh, you can get a garden gnome for your garden. And by the way you could when you start the game you start out in a tent and you can play the you can place a tent anywhere you can mm -hmm. even do it on the beach which you couldn't do originally and on top of that you can place your furniture outside of your house now which means that you can place your bed on the beach yes. and go to sleep on the beach if you want to so the last Woo! time i ever played an animal crossing was the gamecube one city folk so right i think that was the name i don't remember yeah i, don't I think remember. It's it's the one that came out the only one that came out on gamecube so yeah i didn't there was even, one on the wii was there i think I, it wouldn't even surprise me. We could check. Yeah, check uh, real fast. Just yeah, type so. in Animal Crossing Wii and see if it pops up. Yeah. Everybody at home is going to be really upset at me. Yes. I, I played the one on the 3DS. I played City Folk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The 3DS one that came out in 2013, I remember it was big. City Folk was the Wii one. Yeah, I played that one. Yes. So, okay. Um, yeah, that's the one I played. Um, what was the one on the GameCube? Um, let me see. Just Animal Crossing GameCube. Uh, it was only called Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Was that yep. the first one? Was that the first animal probably, it was yeah it probably would have oh been because uh, yeah that's the first animal crossing game. yeah i remember renting it i was like oh that, that's a cute little dog let me grab that <laughs> and i was like oh it's like chore the game yeah okay chores, but i see i know a lot of people really like that game it's like a nice time waster and i'll try i'll give the, the switch one a try when it comes out yeah it's, it's oh. gonna be a lot of fun and uh no more having to restart the game every time to like mm -hmm. get an island that you want yeah. you can just form it around and last thing I want to mention about uh, about Nintendo is the sequel to uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Uh, that looks a lot of fun. It looks dark. It mm -hmm. looks like the, in my opinion, it looks like it could be the Majora's Mask to the Ocarina of Time. Uh, which, by the way, uh, PJ doesn't really like. So, and because he finds it, he found it frustrating. Oh, the time yeah. system. Yes. If, as long as there's no stupid things like that, I enjoy a little bit of a dark story every mm -hmm. once in a while. Because I'm, I'm an edge lord here yeah. and there. <laughs> I, I like listening to metal music. I, yeah, I'm an edge lord. I'm okay with. I that can do dark stuff. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm okay with dark stuff. Yes. Yeah, just not everything. Dark everything sucks. Yeah, dark, dark. Eh, yeah. I don't know. I, I play a lot. Of horror games so yeah. you, gotta, you gotta give me but a little I think bit you, of credit. You, you, you need to have a little bit of balance but so for the dark well, yeah. things to have really I mean nice. I literally went from Resident Evil 2 straight into Kingdom Hearts <laughs> straight into Swords of Ditto yeah. and then now I'm playing through uh, Outlast 2 again right yeah so, so that's like yeah. as, as big a switch as you can possibly get yeah I want to touch on just a couple of few things from the Nintendo Direct also um, Trials of Mana uh, like a, the, yeah which is actually by the way that Trials of uh -huh. Mana I think that's the third secret that, that's the third Mana game yeah. actually is yeah. the name of the third one is the trial of mana so is it a remake of the third one i have no idea but because i know uh, there was like the other it never three... came to america so i have no uh -huh. freaking idea all i know is i played the first and second one and yeah. they're and they're not in the collection that yeah, you can buy by today we don't have i will i will mention this we don't have a whole lot of time mm -hmm. to talk about nintendo left oh, yeah. on on this uh on this but um yeah i mean trials of mana looks great i'm gonna mm -hmm. i'm gonna buy it i love jrpgs and I'm freaking Witcher Three is not on your Switch. Wait, yeah, you I can want watch. To... You can see Geralt's naked ass on your Switch screen yes. <laughs> anywhere you want. You're in the train, sit next to that annoying kid that's like, "Hey, bitch, you got games on your phone? Yeah. Like, hey, play this," and just shows him straight up yes. Geralt's dick. <laughs> like, look at this boy. Oh, look. Oh, you got a Nintendo? Can I play yes. with that? Yeah, here you go, kid. Oh my God, I'm a man now. <laughs> and I'll say, I want to see how that thing runs because on PS4 it would make a chug. Yeah. So, good luck, Nintendo. Switch yeah, good luck, Nintendo. Well, I, if that. you saw, it looked like they dropped the uh, quality to 720. Oh, yeah. It doesn't look that exactly. Yeah. But I think 
at that point, you already you know what you're getting because you're getting it on the portal. So, so, like all of our other tier lists we made recently, who wins out on the top of E3? Nintendo, Nintendo by, by a, by a mile. fucking mile. Like, like, big old mile. Oh, yes. They saved this as three for me a complete waste. So, so yeah, E3 2019, wrapping it up. Uh, compared to, let, let's do this really fast. I don't want to talk about details, mm -hmm. but. E3 2019, what would you give it on a tier list scale? D minus. D minus? Yes. I would say like, eh, yeah. Because I there's still it. a couple of Nintendo games Nintendo saves yeah, it. Nintendo exactly. saves it. Orion could have saved it. Yeah. Little, with yeah. That, take Nintendo out straight F. Yeah, I, I, I agree. D, I'd say solid D. Yeah. D, solid, I'll give D it a for D. Dog. Yes. yes. D, D for D. Dog. For dog. Oh, and yeah. because in, in my, my reaction, in my opinion to this E3, is that this was the E3 to announce the trailer for next year's E3. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> it's like, we're, it's like, hey guys, come back next year for yeah. big stuff. Exactly. We're literally at the point where the companies are not making it a secret that they're shifting to PS5 and the new Xbox. Yeah, it's next so, gen comes next year. 20, so, 2020. I mean, we have an official announcement from Xbox that the next console comes holiday next year. Exactly. So, so it's like they, they did the Project Scorpion. We can thing, expect so. the PS5 probably mid next year. Exactly. Um, which it really blows my mind the fact that we have like 11 months till we could see the PS5. That is kind of concerning. It's really scary. That's it's really scary concerning. That. Yeah, but it's cause, it's since them, they, they mentioned that the PS4 was going to be the revenue driver for the next three or four, you know I think we're still going to get a game It was kind of weird to me, just the shift in video gaming, in, in my opinion, is the fact that we've seen like growing up and especially the older generations. Every time that there's a hint of a new generation, we got so excited. Mm -hmm. I mean, from Xbox to Xbox 360 mm -hmm. to Xbox One is such a big deal. Exactly. Now I'm dreading it. Exactly. I don't want another generation. I think I'm what, fucking done. What messed things up was PS4 Pro and Xbox One X because we got those upgrades halfway through the I gen, just think so. the entire generation was just... It's, it was one of the, the weaker ones. It's like, it's just, compared to the 360 I mean, there were some great-ass games yeah. in this generation, but... They came early, they, I think. Came early, yeah. I'm yeah, just yeah. I feel like it's well. The st also, I think the start of the generation was awful. Yeah, because there was like a Sony, Xbox had no nothing. games. Yeah. Sony had like nothing. No, really actually, no Microsoft value. Xbox had games that were not good. Well, that's what I said. They had nothing. Uh -huh. They had nothing yeah. worth buying. Yeah. And then Sony was like because they supported the PS3 way too late. Most of their studios I mean, started late. Persona Five came out forever. on <laughs> PS3. Uh -huh. Just give an example of how long that system was alive and kicking. That's insane. Yeah. So moving on. We're done. Uh, that wraps up our E3 talk. E3 2019 gets a solid D for dog. What a bummer. What a bummer. Keanu yeah. Reeves. It, it, just, just, just for Keanu rap... Reeves, I want to give it a C minus. No, 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 that, no, no, but... no. So, no, here's the thing. Here's the reason why it's a D. If your biggest highlight of the actual E3 conference was that a celebrity is in a video game, yeah. your conference is you, you done fucked up. You done That's fucked like, up. Yeah, so. Anyways, we have a little bit of a thing that we want to do here because we thought it was kind of fun when we fucked around yesterday with it. So we're going to do it here to end. Hey, Google, say hello. Hi, I was just thinking it's a great time to make cookies. I can help by setting timers if you'd like. No, thank you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, cookies do sound nice. <laughs> yeah, cookies do sound nice. You know, we may get a cookie after that. Uh, anyways, we're going to play a Mad Lib game. Hey, Google, can we play Mad Lib? Awesome. It's story time. Hell yeah, boys. We can actually do this on explicit. Yes. What's the metaphor? for? <laughs> this is Mad Libs. We're going to do an World's E3 special Let's for this. Let's story together. This Mad Lib needs 20 words. To exit a Mad Lib, say stop. Get ready. First up, an adjective. Nintendo. That's... An, that's cool. Cool. <laughs> Give me a noun. That's not magic. Nintendo. Way to go. How about a plural noun? Keanu Reeves. Cool. Multiple. <laughs> How about an adjective? Kingdom Hearts. Way to go. Oh my God. It's awful. <laughs> Say another adjective. Terrible. That's the way. Tell me a verb ending in ing. Fucking. Okay. Give me another verb ending in ing. Messing. Way to go. An adjective. Cute. Clever. Give me another adjective. Clever. Breathtaking. Nice one. Good one. How about a noun? Dog. <laughs> Dog. Clever. You've played before, huh? Tell me a type of food, plural. Onion rings. 
Okay. It's awful. Yeah. Give me a part of the body, plural. Penis. Good. <laughs> Say an adjective. Master Chief. That's a noun. Are you gonna do this again? Good. <laughs> Tell me a vehicle. Lego car. <laughs> Great. A type of food, plural. Pizzas. Good. Give me another type it's of still food, plural. This is a long one. This is a yeah. long one. Um, thing. Burgers. Good. Four words to go. I need a oh something my God. plural. Something what? Plural. What? Okay, Two or more animals, plants, or any living things. So okay, now give me a something alive plural. Something alive Dogs. Plural. Dogs, yeah. Dogs. That's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Tell me another something alive plural. Dragons. dragons. That's the way. <laughs> Tell me an adverb. Quickly. Good. Last word. Tell me a noun. Google. Great. Yes. And we're done. Let's Thank see. God. That let's, was forever. Yeah, okay. let's see how this I goes. Your Mad Lib. I call this Mad Lib Bears. If you go to some Nintendo place like Yellowstone National Nintendo, you must know how to deal with the wild animals such as bears and wolves and Keanu Reeves. The most important of these is the bear. There are three kinds of bears. The grizzly bear, the Kingdom Hearts bear, and the terrible bear. Bears spend most of their time or messing. They look very cute, but if you make them breathtaking, they might bite your dog. Bears will come up to your car and beg for onion rings. They will stand on their hind legs and clap their penis together and <laughs> them, but do not get out of your Lego car or offer the bears pizzas or burgers. This same advice applies to other wild creatures such as dogs, 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 and dragons. Remember all these rules and you will spend your vacation quickly and not get eaten by a Google. That was so neat. Wanna play again? No, I'm good. Thank you though. Alright, thanks for playing. And that was uh, the E3 version of Mad Libs. Yeah, that by was, Google. <laughs> what a fucking mad lad. Good job, Google. Yeah. Anyways, well, that's it. Um, my name is PJ. Uh, if you want to follow me, don't because my I fart a lot and you probably don't want to be behind me. Mm -hmm. It is a bad time. I'm sorry. Um, and but if you want to follow me, you can find me at a underscore dro segovia on Twitter and alejandro segovia ninety three on Instagram and my same name on Facebook. Awesome. It's alejandro segovia. Good luck spelling all of that. Yep. Um, yeah, so this has been our, this concludes and should conclude forever, our E3 2019 conversation because this was an awful E3 yes. and I cannot wait for 2020 to see if it's even worse. Exactly. Uh, hopefully not because there's actually some big things that should be coming. I mean, if they somehow don't make new consoles exciting, we're doomed. We're doomed. Yeah, I mean, PC Master Race, yeah. <laughs> it's inevitable. Yeah. Everyone's going to end up on PC or their phones. Everyone's either going to be a free-to-play phone player or a PC gamer. I think that's the next Nintendo versus uh, so or Sega. Yeah, and we're going to be living in the dark times. <laughs> yeah, in, in the future, my prediction, my crazy left field prediction, is that uh, just like you know, Sony, not Sony, Sony and Microsoft and Nintendo and Sega have rivaled, we're going to see PC versus iOS in the future. We're going to see the death of Xbox and Sony. We'll see. Well, uh, iOS announced compatibility with the controller, so... There we go. So it's like Coming it's, up. Yep. Yeah. Uh -oh. It's getting dangerously close. Danger. And then we got Stadia kind of like lurking in the corner. So <laughs> things are about to get messy. I, I just, I just ima imagine it like sitting in the corner just rubbing its hands like, Finally, my time is going to be my time. <laughs> it's like, please buy me. Yeah. It's like, good, good. good let your, good. Feet, let your <laughs> hate flow through you. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, my name is PJ. If you want to follow me, actually, it's uh, at J-O-K-J-A-Y-O-H-K-A-Y. -O -O -Y. Follow me there. Uh, also follow StatX Media at StatX Media. If you have problems with spelling any of those words, I am sorry for you. Anyways, we and, are... And uh, don't forget to check our website to see our full recap and reviews of the conference and what we thought of this E3 overall. Is E3 dead? Yes. 
Spoiler find alert. Out. At, yes. Anyways, all right. Yeah, good. But seriously, go read it. They have some really awesome points in there. Uh, yeah. This is uh, PJ. I'm Alejandro, and we are signing off. See you guys next week. I'm out. <laughs>